To get started, visit the main page of the Synology Distation Manager and then visit the Package Center. The key package we need here is called CloudSync, so visit the All Packages link on the left and locate CloudSync Package. If it's not already installed, click the Install button and wait for this to complete. Once completed, open up the CloudSync application and this will take you to the setup screen if none are already set up. If this doesn't happen, simply click the plus icon located at the lower left side. First we'll select the Dropbox option and click the Next button. Now a secure window should open from Dropbox. This will ask you to first log in if you've not done already and then ask for permission for Synology CloudSync to use your Dropbox. Click the Allow button and then the Agree button that follows. Task settings will now appear that ask you for a connection name. Local path is the folder on your Synology NAS that you wish to add to Dropbox and sync when changes are made. Remote path is the directory in Dropbox where you wish to store the files remotely. Sync direction can be set to bidirectional, which means changes made to local or remote are synced together. This is the most common option with a Dropbox setup on multiple devices. There are also download remote changes only which means changes on Dropbox are mirrored on the Synology NAS and upload local changes only, which means changes on the local Synology NAS are mirrored on Dropbox. We'll keep this set to bidirectional for this video. There are also schedule settings where syncing is only run at certain times of the day and data encryption. Now click the next button. Here is the final step called confirm settings where we can check everything is as desired. You can also click the Advanced Settings button to exclude certain folders in the main folders if they contain very large files and also a file filter to include exclude certain file types such as large movie files etc. Once happy click the Apply button and the task will start to be created. Once the task is created it will then perform the first sync. This may take a while depending on the number and sizes of the files and the connection speed between the Synology NAS and the Dropbox servers. It's also a good idea to check the History tab to make sure everything is working as it should and you can also test the Cloud Sync by creating and updating files in the folders you selected for syncing earlier. And there you have it. Please check out my other tutorials for the Synology NAS and please like and subscribe if this video was helpful.